so like they say the father's not the son and they're so all equal. This, yeah. Why? So if they're all equal, why is Jesus praying for permission in the garden? Yeah. Why? So if they're all equal, why is Jesus praying for permission in the garden? He's like, let this cup pass from me. Why is he going? If he's, if him, if him and the father are equal and he's not less than, because, right? Marcus, then why does he, why is he going to that way? Because if they're equal, I shouldn't have to ask you nothing. Because if they're equal, I shouldn't have to ask you nothing. We make decisions together. But I had to go and, and ask for permission from you so we can't be equal. 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 That can't, that can't be the case. I can't be equal. I can't be equal to you if I have to go submit and say, hey, Please let this cup pass for me. You know, let your will. Then we're not equal. Then we're not equal. Then we're not equal. If Jesus the Son is fully equal to the Father, then he should have the same authority. Well, so why does yeah, he have to say he let, submits, let? Remember, the, the Son submits submits freely to the Father. But why would he have father. to submit if he had if he was completely equal? Uh, so what do you believe there? Do false teachers love? God or or not. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this day. I give you praise, honor, and glory. I thank you for Marcus today. Thank you for his heart. Thank you for um, his love for you. Thank you for um, his love for you. Thank you for um, his love for you. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. If someone comes and proclaims another Jesus than the one we proclaimed, or if you receive a different spirit, from the one you received, or if you accept a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it readily enough. Marcus Rogers, according to this text, preaches another Jesus, a different Jesus. And not only that, another spirit, not the Holy Spirit. He doesn't tell us to put our heads in garbage cans. He is another Jesus and another spirit. And Marcus Rogers, hey, if Jesus Christ is not equal with God the Father, then that means that he is less than God the Father. And if Jesus Christ is less than God the Father, that means that Jesus Christ is not God. In other words, hey, five is not equal than six. Five is less than six. So five is not six. Marcus Rogers clearly believes Jesus Christ is not equal with God the Father. Therefore, he is less than God the Father. Therefore, he is not God. That is another Christ, not the Christ of the Scripture. And what's in Marcus Rogers? Well, it's another spirit. It's not the Holy Spirit of the Bible. It's a different spirit. In Alan Parr in Ruslan, you betrayed your role as a guardian of the gospel. You still have some explaining to do. You're still running. You're still hiding. You can't run and hide from this forever. This is a betrayal of the gospel, and it rises in importance above everything else in your life right now. Everything. And let me just say that, hey, Brandon Tatum... Uh, Brandon Tatum is dumb enough to say Jesus Christ is not God. But Marcus Rogers, he is not dumb enough to say Jesus Christ is not God. But Marcus Rogers says it in a more cunning, more sly, more roundabout way, but it's the same thing. They are one and the same. If you believe that Jesus Christ is not God, you are not a Christian. And if you're partnering with people that say that, hey, watch out because you're betraying the gospel.